So today I'm going to show something I've been working on for a little while off and on, uh, and that is getting the Fedora user space to work under the Windows subsystem for Linux. Um, Windows subsystem for Linux was something that, that, that Microsoft announced at build um, this year, and it allows you, uh, they advertised it as running bash in Windows. But really what it is, the, the, the real magic is the syscall translation layer that they've implemented. And because it's a syscall translation layer and nothing, anything that's distro specific, um, it's really implement, trying to mimic the syscall layer of the Linux kernel. There's no, there's no reason that you can't run any distribution you want in this subsystem. And I'm going to demonstrate running Fedora. So we'll just open up our command prompt here, bash. We're in yeah, what looks like a Linux prompt. Uh, but if I do a cat a Fedora release, you can see I'm actually in a Fedora 23 user space and we have access to DNF. So I'm just going to show that uh, you can that the package manager for Fedora works. That you can install software, and that uh, Fedora makes just as good a development environment here. So we're going to do a make cache fast. Make cache pulls down the repository metadata so that we can install packages. Um, shouldn't take too long, but it uh, what Microsoft has done here is pretty impressive. Uh, I had to make some changes to DNF uh, because some parts of the program uh, result in syscalls that aren't implemented by the LX core um, translation layer yet. And so when you, whenever you hit one of those, it just returns an error and it was fatal to DNF. So I had to work around those, but uh, it's, it's not too invasive. Um, so and we got our metadata data. So this is a this is a pretty minimal user space. I pulled it out of the Fedora Docker Compose. So um, like tools like wget, I use wget all the time. So say I want wget, I can just do dnf install wget. So you know, dependency resolution, package installation, it all happens, and now I've got wget. So uh, you know. Really, any distro can use this subsystem, and this is an example of Fedora using it. 